Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to have you here with me today to show you my latest fab find. Yes, that's right. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Long Wearing Concealer and I am blown away by this. I discovered this about a week ago. I was in Ulta and I was looking at the Milani rack and I picked up a wonderful new eyeliner they have that actually turned out to be one of my monthly fave eyeliners. It's wonderful. And I went ahead and picked this up and I brought it home and about three days ago I used it and I was amazed at the coverage. In fact, I have it on right now and it is now 5.30 in the afternoon and I will admit that I did powder my face, but I still have this concealer on and look how fabulous it looks. And I know that most of you out there who are looking for under eye concealers are looking for something that kind of smooths out the dark circles gets rid of the crepey look or the fine lines and wrinkles, does not magnify those, just kind of smooths the under eye and evens it. And quite honestly, before I had this little Mohs surgery on my eye, and that's why I have this kind of mark here, and they removed a lesion that they thought was skin cancer. It was not, but it is still healing. It's gonna take about another year for it to heal. And because of that, I really didn't play around with concealers much. Well, actually I did play around with them. I tried about everything on the market to cover this up but always I went back to my Tarte Shape Tape because to me there was nothing that covered this as well as Tarte Shape Tape. And I always had to use the Tarte Shape Tape under my eyes to conceal that. And then I had to go in with this Derma Blend and I used the color light and it is a very high coverage concealer designed to conceal scars and that kind of thing. So I always had to use this plus this and, and I actually mostly use the Tarte Shape Tape in light medium honey, but if I wanted to lighten up the area, I would use it in light. And I tried probably 25 other concealers over the past year that I've been wrestling with this, but I never found anything that covered the way this plus the Derma Blend did. That is until I started using this Milani Conceal and Perfect. And I'll show you a wear test of it in just a few moments, but amazingly, this is all I have on my under eye area. I have no Derma Blend. It is only this Milani Conceal and Perfect. And not only is the Milani more inexpensive than the Tarte Shape Tape, it works a heck of a lot better. In fact, I am amazed and I am so happy because it is not fun walking around with a scar in the middle of your face. Now I will say that at first glance, the Milani appears to be a lot less expensive than the Tarte Shape Tape. This was $8.99 at Ulta versus $27, I think. Let me look. Yes, $27 for the Tarte Shape Tape. But I do say at first glance, it appears to be a lot less expensive because the Milani is 0.17 ounces and the Tarte Shape Tape is 0.33 ounces. And it's funny, it is very misleading because they really look about the same size. So when the ounces are made equal, this one actually costs about $18 versus $27 for the Tarte Shape Tape. And I know to a lot of people that eight or $9 isn't that significant and they would say, Say, oh, I just want to use the name brand, the best one, the Tarte Shape Tape. But to me, the Milani is absolutely the better of the two concealers, and I'm going to be wearing this one from now on. Here we are up close and personal, so you can really get a good look at my eyes. I have a lot of veins on the top of my eyes. I have blue veins on the outside of my eyes, which always need to be covered, and the concealer tends to wear off in that area. And then, of course, I have the little incision area, which is more than a lot of you deal with. However, some of you deal with under eye bags, and really that just looks like an under eye bag, so it will give you some idea of how this would work on that. And I really like the little tiny doe foot applicator. The applicator on the Shape Tape is huge. In fact, I'll show that to you. And it really delivers a lot of product. In fact, too much product in my opinion. There is the Tarte Shape Tape applicator versus the Milani Conceal and Perfect applicator. Like this one a lot better because really our eyes are a small part of our face. This applicator gets in beautifully right there in that area there on the inner nose. Okay, I'll go in with my Sigma P84 brush. I love this for dealing with concealer. It really does help. I like to take a little of the concealer across the eyelid because it really beautifully nulls out all that red and covers up all those veins. Gives you a nice smooth canvas to deal with. And then I just pat that area under the eye. Rub it a little bit on the outside to cover that blue vein. Now, because I'm dealing with that little bag area, I'll go ahead and add a little extra Milani concealer right here, just to kind of hopefully bring up that area. And I will tell you on this incision, it is not perfect, but it is a lot better than it was using the Tarte Shape Tape. 
Everybody has their little beauty issues to deal with, and that is one of mine. Okay, I think that looks good. Let's go to the other side, which is my very unchallenging eye. I'll just add a little bit of that there. You don't need to overdo on this. A little bit goes a long way. And this eye is a lot less bumpy than the other eye. So if you don't have a lot of bags under your eye, this will kind of show you how this concealer would work on your eye. And as you can see, it totally smooths everything out, evens out that color, and just makes the under eye area look perfect. Next, I'll go in with a little setting powder, and I've been loving this Laura Mercier Secret Under Eye Brightening Powder. There is a look at that. It's just a little finely milled light powder, and I put it over the lids and under the lids. I always think it helps on the lids if you've done some primer or added some concealer up there to go ahead and add some powder if you're using powder eyeshadows because I think it just helps you blend that eyeshadow in better. Okay, there is the final look and I'll be checking with you throughout the day to see how it wears. Okay, here is the way that concealer looks. It is noon and I put this makeup on at about 6 o'clock this morning. So it's been 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's been six hours. I should have been able to do that in my head, sorry. But it's been six hours and I think it looks really, really good. You can kind of see the blue veins on the outside of my eyes, but you always can see those even with Tarte Shape Tape. Uh, usually I do have to go in and reconceal at around noon, but it has been six hours. It is not flaking. It is not particularly wearing off and it is not making my under eyes look crepey. Okay, it is seven o'clock at night, so it's been 13 hours since I put on this under eye concealer. But anyway, it still looks really good. It has not been touched up all day. And I just feel like it is not accentuating fine lines and wrinkles. Of course, I have them, but they're not showing any more than they normally do. And it still has excellent coverage after 13 hours. I would say this Milani Conceal Imperfect is a total winner. Well, that was a look at my new favorite concealer, the Milani Conceal Imperfect. And if you're looking for a concealer that doesn't make your under eyes crepey and that kind of nulls out the dark blueness that we get under our eyes and just really smooths out this area, then you might really want to give this a try. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, then I hope you'll click that bell and that will send you notifications of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up and or share it with a friend, that would be great too. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. Okay, let's go ahead and choose a card. Ooh. When I shine bright, I give others the permission to shine with me. When I shine bright, I give others the permission to shine with me. Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card, and this is so true. Sometimes I think we're afraid to shine our own light for fear that it will make others around us feel less than and not quite so shiny. But friends, let's not do that. Every day when we go out into the world, let's concentrate on doing our best and letting our own light shine. Because when we do that, we give others permission to let their light shine too. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video.